Hey buddy, welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 15 minute tinted sunscreen makeup hack. Yes, I achieved this look using the sunscreen. So if you've been looking for a way to replace your everyday makeup with a sunscreen look, which is more beneficial for you, then keep on watching. This is what the sunscreen gave us. Can you believe it? Can you believe this sunscreen gave us this? One, two, three. Suffering from PIH, you know, acne scar, hyperpigmentation. It's important that you are going to sunscreen every day to combat this skincare concerns. And it is much more important that you are wearing a mineral sunscreen because it has double the protection that a chemical sunscreen is going to give you, and the coverage is actually better. However, the problem that we usually encounter with mineral sunscreen is that, oh boy they leave white casts they leave white casts so there are loads of innovations now that skincare brands have developed to help us battle that can you believe i'm wearing a mineral sunscreen right now yes i am and i'm going to be teaching you every step of how i achieve this look so i'm going to be using this color science flex sunscreen it has spf 50 all the good stuff guys this particular tinted sunscreen is like no other guys it starts off as white as you can see However, it has a technology where the tint is encapsulated in the sunscreen. So when you rub it together and you start applying, the color starts to come off. And it is available in three shades. So this is what I just do. I put it on my skin and I just rub it like so. Guys, can you see? Can you see? So for example, like on a daily basis, nobody cares about wearing foundation every day. Well, I know I don't care and I know there are so many of us out there. So you just get this and lay it on your skincare. Ensure you're using the two finger rules. Then you want to ensure that you're getting the adequate amount. Because one thing with this um, tinted sunscreen is you could get carried away by the coverage and not use the adequate amount. You want to make sure you're using the adequate amount. Guys, you can see how it's covered my prayer mark. It is amazing. You can see that the pigment has started to reveal and bloom. You see, I am done with the entire thing on my hand and I'm still going to go in. I have oily skin, so it tends to move around a little bit. But I can always work with it, honestly. I can always work with it. I'm about to show you how I make it work into my day-to-day -day life whereby loads of people ask me on instagram if you haven't followed me on my socials what i wear on a daily basis i tell them i'm not wearing foundation and most of them do not believe me so that's why i decided to film this video so this is what i'm talking about you can see that it is somewhat a bit greasy on oily skin but we can always make it work the finish that it gives it's you know not bad but it can always get better so what are the claims of this sunscreen? It says here that, because I have a note here, it says here that it's SPF 50 plus plus plus, 4 plus, mm, nice. And it says that um, it is a mineral UV filter available in four shades, fair, medium, tan, and deep. And it is medium to beautiful, yes it is, it's medium to beautiful. So I'm just going to be blending it with my, you know, beauty blender here. So it is actually true to the medium to beautiful because i applied like three layers on my skin it says here that it has iron oxide non nano triple coated zinc oxide that protects against uv and uvb rays which is true yes yes because mineral sunscreen mostly have zinc oxide so this is this is amazing guys and it says here that it is water resistant for up to 40 minutes one would think so because it is actually really thick and it says here that it has antioxidants which is a bonus honestly then it has niacinamide yes we love sunscreens that also work as skincare you know that has some sort of skincare ingredients in it i mean then it is in between hydrating and matte yes i already said that it has satin finish so it says here that it flexes or adapts to your skin as you layer it which is also true as you can see so this sunscreen is actually amazing mineral sunscreen is way better than chemical sunscreen in that it actually protects more it protects more that is why most times they come out thick and they leave this white cast which we don't like however you know i have learned how to finesse it which is what i'm going to be doing now so guys this is the aspect where i move on to you know switching it up into like um 
you know like a little makeup routine to make it a little more you know adaptable for you know taking pictures and all of that so what i just do is i go in with my concealer i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me concealer today guys just a tad bit because you know this is a everyday look you just want something with a little coverage so i just got that and i'm going to be using my you know wet beauty sponge I already used it to apply the um, sunscreen, that's why it's looking a bit rusty like that. It's blended like so. Guys, this takes every day. This literally takes like 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how detailed I want to be. So, you know, it just brightens my under eye. So, yeah, I do this. Then I take the bits left on my, on my eyelid. I go in with setting powder. Guys, I'm still using this Sasha. I'm just going to take a little bit of it and use it to set my under eye like so. As you can see, this is literally sunscreen. It is literally sunscreen on my face. Next, you want to go into your, if you have any form of um, bronzing palette, honestly, it doesn't have to be like the expensive ones. I'm using this one from Elf. I'm going to go in with this shade and I'm going to be mixing it with this shade just to bronze up my face a little bit so just like so just to bring more color of literally just bring back the color on my forehead guys you know how the sun eats our forehead and it's like the darkest part anyways for me it's like the darkest part of my skin so i want to bring back color there so that is what you want to do when you're applying your bronzer you just want to look for the spots where sun eats you know mostly on your face and it's also helping me blend my sunscreen a bit better you know those edges were looking a little bit rusty earlier so you just want to you know apply it like so i really hope the fan the sound of the fan is not coming through in this video i'm going to be using this mac blush to just you know brighten up my cheeks a little bit but this step is actually skippable if you don't want to so i just like bringing back little color into my skin look how beautiful this looks guys oh it's so beautiful going in with this fenty beauty um highlighter that skips my mind you can see how i have heat pan on this like it is amazing so i just put a little bit here you want to ensure you're dabbing it off dab it off and just apply a little bit like the slightest amount because don't forget we're going for a everyday look but you still want to look put in a little bit on my nose because why not why not oh my god this this highlight guys is absolutely amazing it is absolutely giving we love it it's subtle we love it we're moving to a little bit of high we're not doing any um eyeshadow whatsoever i'm just going to be darkening my outer corner a little bit with the same bronzer shade that i used and with this brush so i just want to apply you know the same shade the brown shade here so i'm going to be applying it on my on my outer corner and honestly all over my lid just to set the sunscreen that's there so one thing i have noticed about the sunscreen because everything that has an advantage definitely has a disadvantage everything that has a pro has a con is that it does settle into your eyelid you know a little bit and the shade range is also a little bit questionable um color science we want you know a deeper shade and we want better on the undertone that might be a bit difficult for you guys but i'm sure you you can you know finesse it and make it work because there are other brands that have been able to like Ilia. i can't wait to lay my hands on the Ilia tinted sunscreen and use comment below if you're using it already i feel like it would be the best best form of sunscreen ever tinted sunscreen i mean because their shade range is really really magical i saw one of my friends on instagram review it so yeah i just put that in my outer corner and i'm just going to go in and you know just have a little wing line this is beautiful i just do like a tiny wing i pray i hope so so i'm just going to go in with it like so you guys see how precise and tiny it is i won't be able to talk through this stage <laughs> Thank you. 
I changed my mind and I went to pick up this my Tara one because that this the other one the Maybelline one was stressing me out a little bit I couldn't concentrate I just really I'm done I just really want to fill up this line that's all I'm just going to apply this other one of the camera so I'm done with the eye guys anything that has to do with eye they are cousins they are not twins so this is how we got the eyeliner looking I'm just going to you know put the finishing touches and I'll be right back so next I'm going in with this Nika K waterproof 24 hours eyeliner I'm using it to line my waterline like so So guys, consider subscribing if you haven't. If you're getting value for this video, please subscribe. And don't forget to press the notification button to get notified every single time I post a video. It's long I said that. Tongue twister. That one. Now I'm going to go in with a lip liner. So this is by Wet and Wow. You can definitely use any lip liner, any brown lip liner that you have. I really love my nude lips because it goes with any outfit that I'm wearing does this not look like a full-blown makeup does it not look like one to me it does honestly once i can do this i am good I like i'm going to go in with this new this sephora it's a lip pencil but it's like satin finish places that require powder and guys for eyebrow we did not do much i just used this got to be glue that I usually rave about and a rusty ass toothbrush and that's just what I did I just use it to lay my eyebrow when I'm doing this quick tinted sunscreen makeup look I do not bother myself about carving my eyebrow and you know using concealer with it I just leave it like so and honestly I am good I am good I don't know about you I can't be bothered to line my eyebrow every day honestly so i just topped it off with a little lip gloss and this is what we look like i'm tempted to add a little bit of blush because you see the quantity of blush that we used earlier we can't find it's it's nowhere to be found my melanin sucked it up my melanin sucked it up guys so i am going to be applying a little more blush guys this step is totally like absolutely not even necessary honestly i just want it because I love my brush. So guys, this is the finished look. I love it. I don't know about you. This is what the sunscreen gave us. Can you believe it? Can you believe this sunscreen gave us this? You don't need to stress yourself about using your foundation every day. You can have your skincare benefits and still look like this. However, it is not the most lightweight. It is not, you can see I'm already sweating here. It is not the most lightweight, I am going to be honest. But it does, it gets the job done and it does not give pins and needles. It doesn't sting like some other mineral sunscreen with, with um, zinc oxide and oxybenzone. And this one has zinc oxide 12 percent so yeah it doesn't sting that we're happy about that so why get a tinted sunscreen you might ask you know as to this lightweight chemical korean sunscreen that we all love i love them i'm not even gonna lie but the reason why you need a mineral tinted sunscreen is because it gives extra protection just like i said against all those harmful rays how much is this baby this baby right here cost between 38 to 45 dollars you can get it on amazon sephora i usually because i'm filming from abuja nigeria i usually buy through my friends that live abroad i bought this through tila she stays in the u.s and she actually has a channel here too which i am going to be dropping a channel here you can get it through your personal shopper your friends so guys we've come to the end of this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you did get value for this video also i'd love for you to watch this next video watch this next video for my modest fashion apps if you love what you see because girl you can be covered and be stylish stay blessed